Hey, welcome! Uh, today I wanted to show you a quick look on this weapon glow, on how it is made. And maybe later on or another day we could make a tutorial if you are interested enough. Right, so first uh, this is composed in, is it three elements or four elements? It's the staff glow, it is uh, this, um, this flare, this and the sparks sparks on the head and sparks on the on the body right um, so first for this glow it is just a simple emitter with an elongated uh, material right it is just any material opaque just giving it a faint glow and then I, I duplicated it and made a thinner one a thinner a stronger one so you get uh, this feeling, right? This faint glow and near the weapon, it is slightly stronger, but it's just details. And then here uh, on the head, you have these two, these two materials. One of them is smaller and yellow, and the other one is red. So if you want to check the the material, it is like this. So it is two textures, all right? Two textures combined. Uh, actually, it is the same texture, but uh, they are multiplied, right? So on the first one, it is really simple. I put a vector to radial value to make it um, to make it uh, how to explain it. Um, okay, so like this. <laughs> it's just a texture. It can pan. It is styled for sure. So if I hook this up. You make it radial, a vector to radial, yeah, you make it radial. And since it is, uh, since it is um, uh, tiled, it's not gonna deform, so that's perfect. And the second one, it is uh, a distortion uh, material, right? So it is two texture rotating against each other, added into the UVs of this texture. And what this does, if, if you want to check it, what this does is just uh, distorts the texture, right? So these two are combined. Of course, that uh, there is some power nodes to um, increase the the color values, and as opacity, you just have a common uh, gradient. You can just texture or use a gradient gra 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 exponential depth fade so it is just a really simple material it's just the texture that has a really nice highlights that makes this uh, a mesmerizing look right like a kind of hyp hypnotic so again um, it is two modules one is the red one which is uh, wider it is bigger and it is also fainter the color I mean and uh, the second one is smaller and more intense, right? And the rest is just uh, little details that I wanted to make, right? So just like s s small points, but that's just me, right? Oh, and uh, you also have these sparks, right? And it's over here. No, it's this one. This one is really simple, honestly. Um, it is just uh, sparks uh, going inwards, right? You just create a, a sphere node and you make it uh, a velocity and going, going, going inwards, right? Same for this, uh, for this stuff, just that, just that it has acceleration towards the bottom. So it is really simple. Uh, the material for the for the staff glow it is also simple, right? So it is just three gradients, right? When it's softer, and on the middle one I'm giving it a little a, a little color for some variation. It is just that. Um, what else can I show you? Oh, um, if you want to see it in action, it is already hooked over here. It is already hooked on the, on the staff. 
Oh, uh, if you wonder about those runes, I can show you that too. Let's see. Let me check it over here actually. Materials. Oh, it's on the effects. No. Mesh. Yeah, see, this is one. So we have three materials here. We have the runes, and we also have. There we go. Just gonna erase this. So, for the runes, let's open it up. Again, it is a simple material. First, we have some kind of noise. Here, the name is Tendrils. Fine. But the main texture, it is these runes made on Photoshop, right? Uh, three channels. So, the red one is just the letters. The green, it is two stripes. And the blue, it is just a glow on the on the letters. And I made it this way to be able to control every single element, right? So these are the runes. Um, what else can I show you? Yeah, not much really. Not much. Let's see over this free node. Yep. So this material is really simple. And for the ring glow, it is even even easier, right? It is just hooked. The, the texture is uh, also right. It's it's just this. I could have also made it as a circle, but I found this to be easier. So yeah, I, is that everything? Yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, this is a character that we are making for the Unreal Marketplace. Right, it's an anime cleric. So if you want to um, check more tutorials, or maybe you want more tutorials on VFX or animation or whatever, just subscribe and uh, write to us, right? Maybe you want to see some tutorial on making different textures in Substance or, or whatever. Just let us know, yes? I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.